show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, we are back from uh, another fortnight we in are. terms of upload. Indeed. However, in reality, this is one what twenty four hours after the last time we recorded, which you listened to two weeks ago. Hopefully. Yes, one would one would hope. Hopefully How have you been did, since yeah. the last time we recorded anything, sir? Um. Yes. <laughs> You've been the same. <laughs> I've been, yes. Yeah, basically the same as the day before. Yeah. Nothing new to report. Fair enough. Yeah, nothing has happened here either. No. There you go. I had the idea <laughs> we'd, we'd start a podcast by talking about the games we're currently playing. However, yes. two weeks ago when we spoke about what games we were playing, it's only been 24 hours in real life, so that seems a bit redundant for this episode. Exa- exactly, yeah. yes. And... How, and yeah. Had we not been, and had I actually been streaming to you from Greece, I wouldn't have been able to play anything anyway. No. So, I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, what, um, yeah, I don't think you did actually, no. No, I didn't didn't mention that in the last video, did I, that holiday? (laughs) No. Well, as, as people are listening to this, you're probably sitting in an airport waiting to leave. Um... Yeah, I think Ish. when when the last one went live, I will have been in the air flying to Greece. And yeah. as this one goes live, or I say live, released, um, I think, yes, I will be in an airport waiting for a plane. Yeah, so um, you're not on holiday for much long. You've been on holiday, technically. Yes, and it was lovely. Oh, it was such was it a nice? nice time. It was so oh, relaxing. Good. Yeah, the food was lovely. The private pool that we had was lovely. Um, good. A few nice days out. Can't really go into detail right now, obviously. <laughs> but um, I'm yeah. sure we'll hear all about it. A good time was probably had by all. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that much is taken for, taken as seen. So it's, well, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. Taken for face value. I don't know. There's a phrase I'm looking for that I can't think of. It's been a long day. If you can think of that phrase, why not put it in the comments below? <laughs> Please do, and tell us <laughs> how stupid Pokey Pitch is for not knowing words. Yes, yeah. indeed. Talking of stupid... Yeah. <laughs> Segway. Ah. <laughs> what, oh, what do you mean to my point... My well, discussion topic. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's get straight into that and talk about what I. Well, I'll start with not saying stupid as a word, but I will end with that. Okay. <laughs> However, yeah, the recent Sword and Shield news um, of almost three weeks ago, as you're listening, was uh, Janichi Masuda at the Treehouse Live um, mm-hmm. interrupting the one of the um, interviewers to say something almost from the beginning and completely 100% open and honestly um, to say not all Pokemon are going to be programmed into Sword and Shield. What does that that mean mean? exactly? That means that with the last couple of generations, not all Pokemon have been available in the games to catch. However, they've been programmed in so you can bring them in from other games and still use them. So Sun and Moon, what well, Ultra Sun, whatever. Generation seven yeah. had the capacity for you to use eight hundred and seven Pokemon, all of them. However, the the um, Alola Dex was only four hundred and fifty strong. So officially, you could only get four hundred and fifty in the game. However, you could transfer in using various methods and use literally every Pokemon. It had all the animations and move sets and everything programmed in. Oh, what, all the way, right the way back to Generation 1, every single... Yeah. Oh, OK, from every single region. Yeah, exactly right. But okay. he has come out almost from the get-go, openly and honestly, and said um, there won't be a National Dex in this game, and also not every Pokemon is going to be programmed into this game, so you won't even be able to transfer some in. Because oh, they physically won't fail. have them. Yeah. Yeah. It will just brought, go, yeah. I don't understand what that is. What it, What is Pidgey? 
Exactly. Yeah. Or it might example. not have the Pidgey line, I don't know. Yeah. Um, in early, very early 2020, there's going to be something called Pokemon Home, which means you can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon mm. Go, and Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. Pokemon Bank is a 3DS sort of storage system. Right. That you can put any of your Pokemon on from the DS and 3DS games, etc. Mm-hmm. Like for me, for me, for example, I've got over a thousand Pokemon on my Pokemon bank. There's a lot of them. Jeez. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. That obviously doubles up of those. Obviously. Yeah. But yeah, so um, you can transfer those to home and from Let's Go and from Go, but that'll be a one-way transfer. They won't be able to come back. Right. So you're with me so far. <laughs> yep. So technically, every Pokemon can go into Pokemon Home. Yes. However, not every Pokemon can go to Sword and Shield. Right. Home to Sword and Shield is a two-way system. Okay. However, not every single one is available. To me, that says at some point in the Switch lifestyle, we will be able to use every Pokemon in a game somewhere. Otherwise, it's completely pointless having the potential to... um have any Pokemon in home, if that makes sense. Yeah, at the moment it seems like home is redundant if you can't bring them out apart from Sword and Shield ones, but you can get yeah. them on Sword and Shield anyway, so why would you bother? Okay. Exactly. Yeah. However, that says to me, you can, there will be another game or another set of games where it has the capacity, not necessarily just to use the ones that haven't been used, but to use all of them. And they're working on that in the background. However, at the moment, they are saving that storage space because, um, you know, if they have 450 out of a potential 900, that's <laughs> half. Yes. So you can imagine all those 450 they're going to use, I'm just using that as a random number, I'm just guessing a number, they're going to have move sets to learn, they're going to have attacking animations, overworld walking animations... They're idle yeah. animations when they're not, you know, all of the, and that's a lot of data, 450 yes. times. Yes. So I'm happy for them to cut that down and put more effort into the actual game itself and be like, right, you can't have all of them, but you can have this genuinely amazing looking game. Yes. However, <laughs> there are certain factors of the Pokemon community who are absolutely outraged. Like they are incensed. I've seen really? tweets of people saying they are um, asking for refunds on their pre order because they now don't want the game. What? Because they might not be able to use that one, like Steelix isn't going to be in it, so because yeah. of that, outrage. Exactly, yeah. Really? I mean, we've seen Steelix, but I know you're just, it's just yeah, an example. I'm just <laughs> using, yeah, names of just ones. Just in case that there's I know. anyone listening who's pedantic. We know, mm. we've seen it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, exactly right. And there are, there are yeah, there's um, someone retweeted um, two screenshots of another Twitter. One of them was saying how Pokemon games are getting so old and never change. Right. And then another one was him complaining that he can't use his old Pokemon that he's got. <laughs> cool. So he's like, what? N- nothing new ever happens. But I want to use all of my old Pokemon and I don't want any change. <laughs> yeah, nothing new it's happens. Just... Stop changing things to make them new, but nothing new happens. Exactly. Oh, and it's not even like God. it's one group of people versus the other, like people who like it and people who don't. It's not really a fight. It's people who are annoyed by it and people who don't care. Yes. And they just want to play the game. <laughs> I'm in that I mean... camp. I'm really looking forward to it. For me, I guess as kind of an outsider who only really knows the really, really old stuff and doesn't have... Like, I played Gold and Silver a bit on PC. I had an emulator for them donkeys yonks ago. I don't really remember much about them. That's kind of the extent of, of my experience with it. I'm more looking forward to the new ones. Yeah. Like, I want to be introduced to the new... Pokemon that they've created for whether it's like a hundred and thirty odd, isn't it, for this one or something? It's rumored to be one hundred and thirty-three. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 
to be honest, I'm I'd be happy way, with yeah. I'd be happy with just that. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> uh, Black and White introduced, I think it was 157 or around there. Just it was a little over 150. Hmm. And but Black and White, you could only use the new Pokemon. You could only use those Gen 5 Pokemon, and that worked really well. I liked, I really liked those games. Hmm. Going back and playing them because I um, missed out on Generation Four and Five, but it was. Yeah, that was really good. They're not going to do that for this, obviously, because they actually do genuinely have the space and the capacity to yeah. have a fair amount on there. Yeah. However, to me, it, this just means like if they're going to not, if they're going to be omitting that national dex function, and they're going to be focusing on elsewhere, it means that. Firstly, to me, it means or could mean that there is going to be a lot of new Pokemon, and I'm more than happy with that. Mm. Because like for Generation 6, we had about 75-ish. And Generation 7, we had about 80 yeah. or 90. But 15 of those were stupid legendaries from another dimension that I won't go into. But <laughs> <laughs> that were just pointless and just weird. And I'm not a yeah. big fan of. But um, So it's... we ne- You know, and... We need a generation that introduces more than about 70. Because they're, they're all right. In fact, I've got a poster of Generation 6 on my wall. I'm not going to count, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, so we need a good chunk, and I think that's what this game's going to introduce. And also, mm. um, the emittance of this National Dex, and, but the fact that you can have all Pokemon on home, like I said earlier, to me, must mean there's going to be another game where you can either use the remaining Pokemon or all of them, and I think it's the latter. Yeah. And like I said two weeks ago slash 24 hours ago, whatever it was, <laughs> can't remember now, I think there's going to be a third in this series, you know, similar to like a yellow or a crystal or something. And I think that's yeah. going to have the national decks and it's going to be like um, a sword and shield plus, if that makes sense. And if it isn't so that, be... it will be the generation after. Yeah, exactly. I think the next... yeah. They did this with Generation 7 with Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon were good games. They were, you know, were very good. However, they brought out Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and you could do so much more on there, catch more Pokemon, and there was more story. And so it, But it made Sun and Moon sort of redundant. However, it doesn't yeah. mean they were bad games. So I think Sword and Shield may follow that suit. They want to get a game out for the Switch. Not rush out, but they want to complete a game and be like, right, this is what we're going for enjoy it and then a year or so down the line they'll bring out like the max version of it you know the heightened version this best ultimate version and be like right so you've played these games we've been working on this mega game which is sword and shield but extra if that makes sense yeah and to be honest they could easily do that just as dlc as well rather than release extra oh, yeah, definitely, plus yeah. versions of the game they could just yeah. do kind of a complete edition if you like that could be yeah. I don't know 15 20 pounds kind of bonus content exactly well game freak themselves haven't ruled out um, creating more Pokemon to be able to be used in the game they haven't ruled that out they just said that at time of release the national decks isn't going to be a thing and there will be yeah. a chunk of Pokemon not programmed in but they haven't they not like they s- haven't said they they have said that they haven't said it doesn't mean they're not going to do that if that makes any sense yeah yeah they have physically yeah. said yeah. we haven't said we're not going to put anything in you know like well, we might do that eventually but it just depends yeah. all, on what they want to do all we're saying you know. is it won't happen at release yeah i mean but if it's, everyone, it's something we're looking know, into yeah, if all these people who are complaining about it really want every Pokemon, then they're just going to have to wait another year because they're just not ready for that yet, and I don't blame them. It's difficult. Yeah. And I'm in very much yeah, in the definitely. camp of trusting Game Freak enough, I've played their games, to know that the game they're going to release is still going to be fantastic. Mm. But obviously, it will have that. It'll be like a 9.5 out of 10, and that half will be, oh, I wish I could use a little bit more, you know, like, if there's a couple of Pokemon I like that I can't use, I'll be like, no, I wish I could use that. But never mind, because this game's still great. Yeah, exactly. It's not going to completely ruin the entire experience of all no, the rest not of at it. All. And it also not means that you haven't got to wait another year, 18 months, in order to do that, because they've exactly, already yeah. built everything else 
around exactly. around that. Yeah, I, I would I mean, imagine as well. They've done some research, and the ones they're leaving out are probably the least popular ones. Oh yeah, the least popular. <laughs> and I know I know that they would look because there's tiers of Pokemon for competitive play as well. So there's like overused tier, you know, all of those sorts of things. So they probably mm. wouldn't take any Pokemon from the overused tier of competitive yeah. because they want people to go to competitions and actually compete. They don't want, you know, like, say last year's winner of whatever they were playing, uh, Sun and Moon, had a team of six and then he was pl- he would be playing Sword and Shield and two of them he can't use. I, I'm very confident they've looked at the tier listings for competitive and they've kept pretty much everyone in the top. Yeah, you would think so. I mean, yeah. if they haven't done that and it is literally full of just dirt Pokemon that nobody likes, then yeah. maybe that will be another discussion. But until either it releases and we know that, or they give a complete list, which I highly doubt they're going to do before it releases, in which case we're going to have to wait until it does release, then you just kind of have to take benefit of the doubt there. They're not going to yeah. intentionally make the experience worse for people. Exactly. They, I trust them. They know what they're doing. I've never played a bad um, core series game. And that's not just because I'm a big fan and I like them anyway. I've n- genuinely never played a bad one. I was sceptical yeah. with Let's Go, but I was still happy to play it. And then I played it and I was like, oh, this is actually incredible. Yeah. So I'm hoping that everyone that's sceptical with this decision goes in and does still buy the game and enjoys it, because I think they will. Yeah, I'm hoping as well that this is kind of my re-entry. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. That British guy playing a game based in Britain, I mean, it has to be done. <laughs> yeah, it does make sense, doesn't it? Yes. But yeah, well, no, that's... I have... uh, oh, come on, sorry. Sorry, I was just going to say, although I have played Grand Theft Auto London on my channel... <laughs> Oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> what about, and what about um? Oh, what's it coming out now? Uh, the game that's based in London coming out. What's it called? Watch Dogs. Oh, Watch Dogs Legion. Yeah, that looks that looks curious. Yeah, but the other Watch Dog games have been near. Yeah. Pants. I, well, I played the first one and it it came. Well, put it this way, it came free with my PS4, and I still oh, okay. didn't enjoy it. <laughs> oh, fun! It, I still didn't get value for money, and I paid zero yeah. pennies. I had no idea it was in there. <laughs> it was very subtly advertised on the box. Like, there was a tiny corner. It was like, oh, by the way, you get this game. <laughs> so, <laughs> and even though it's for free, I still wasn't impressed. Cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I've ranted a lot on that one. I thought I'd keep it brief today, but I got a bit carried away. Oh, I don't know. That wasn't... It certainly wasn't as uh, as, as ranty as we were 24 hours <laughs> Two weeks ago, yeah. Depending on your timeline, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll sure. Yeah, I shall leave it there. I Okey-dokey. do think those people are being a bit stupid. There you go. <laughs> and I think they need to just sit back and play the bloody game because it looks it, it looks flipping good. Yeah. Yeah, that's me Agreed. done. Sorry. <laughs> Agreed. No, that's fine. Yes. Anyway, over to you before I get too angry. <laughs> okay. Shall I lighten the mood a bit? Yeah, go on then. Okie dokie. Um, as you may or may not know, I have owned a Super Nintendo Entertainment System from ah. the age of about six and have absolutely <laughs> loved it. And recently, when the channel rebooted in January, I thought, you know what, let's dust the old Switch off and... Uh, get some get some content of that that would be quite good go back because everything i was kind of doing before was very playstation based yeah. so that was the intention you were who let's let's get the switch uh, the the switch let's get the snes <laughs> out and uh and get some content and it didn't work oh good and i spent months trying to get it to work to no avail and then i kind of forgot about it and then recently i was looking on youtube at God knows how many different videos of did your SNES do this? Is this why it's broken? All you need to do is open it up and clean it this bit up and then it'll work again <laughs> like magic. So I did that and I broke it even more. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I opened it all up and cleaned it out and killed the fact that any power got to it. Oh, so when you so switched it, it was, on, nothing. 
nothing at all yeah the red light just did not come on so i was like cool so before it was a bit broken and i couldn't see any of the game play and i couldn't hear anything it was just a black screen and now it's even more not working oh brilliant <laughs> <laughs> yeah so needless to say i took to ebay and managed to find a uh, console that was at least the casing was certainly not in the best of conditions, but I was assured it worked. And it does, and I'm so happy. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so happy, because now it, it is lives... A, hmm. Yes, it can be a bit hmm, but I yeah. made sure I, the person messaged me, because it was just the console without any of the wires or anything. Right. And okay. they were like, you, you are aware that this, like doesn't come with any wires and stuff right i was like no no it's fine as long as it works like you've said it does in your description then i'll happily still take it and they assured me that it did so i was like cool so i've got you twice now if this doesn't work you're having it back <laughs> but i didn't have to worry about that and thankfully it does and immediately just put mario kart in there and ding yay winning yay. <laughs> Good. So much so that hopefully you will have seen seven days ago there was a little bit of gameplay from uh, from that game that we, well I say we, I got when we went to Norwich. Ah yes, I so remember. I was there. That's there. Yes, that's that's <laughs> there. So now the sky is the limit because a couple of was it? Yeah, the Christmas before last, I got a couple of games from my. I, I'm going to say father-in-law. I'm not married. I air quotes father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. um, one of Step which being... No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of which being Lemmings and one of which being Donkey Kong Country. And oh, okay. I remember Donkey Kong Country being an absolutely amazing game. So yes. I might Incredible. even potentially do a playthrough series of that. Ah, oh, perfect. Please do. Yeah. So... Basically, the sky's the limit. The SNES is back in my life, and I'm happy again. Perfect. I don't need the PlayStation yeah. 5. I've got a console from 1991. Exactly. Don't knock them. <laughs> I will always maintain that there's nothing wrong with retro games. It's If you can ignore the actual physical like bit rate and the quality of it, the yeah. games will still be great. The they stories are. are still there. You know, The content yeah. is still there. The... Logic you need is still there. Everything. Yeah. And that's what um, people don't get. <laughs> one of my favourite games now is one of Konami's kind of biggest sellers in Pro Evolution Soccer, the kind of uh, main that, rival to yeah. FIFA. International Superstar Soccer and the deluxe version on the SNES are probably two of the best sports games I've ever played. Oh, Especially really? the okay. deluxe version. It's brilliant. It's so fun. Um, the fact that you can have the referees turn into dogs as well is, is wonderful. <laughs> but it plays oh. really well. Um, there's even bits of commentary as you're playing it. Okay. Loads of loads of countries. And you can get all-star teams on it. You can do various different tournaments and, and everything. And yeah, it still plays really really nice even to this day that sounds alright to me yeah and I kind of found it at the time completely by chance my cousin had a copy of it and then I must have found it in a like second hand store at the time I have not seen one very like recently copies yeah. of it it's, it seems like it's gold dust so the fact that my one still works uber happy about that Perfect. Yes. Are we going to see that on a channel at all? Um, probably. Yeah, I might do a little quick tournament or something. You can get like okay. eighteen tournaments and and yeah, could kind of show that off potentially. Yeah, um, it could be alright. Yeah, essentially, I'm going to get as much of that on the channel as I can without then turning it into just a SNES channel. Yeah, definitely. Be because along with that, obviously, I've got the N64 up and running again now as well, so... Yes, that was a, another one that was on your list of, like, things to do and things to fix. Yes, and that seems to just now kind of be working, I would say, 95% of the time. But that's good enough. That, yeah, that will do. <laughs> For me, yeah. 
So as long as I've got time to kind of give it a quick bash, um, yeah. it then breathes life. So now that those two consoles are, are up and running, and obviously I've already done a bit of Switch stuff, hopefully I can veer away from being just a Nintendo, uh, from being just a Sony PlayStation guy. I can do some more Nintendo because obviously I've got the GameCube, I've got the Wii as well. Although I can't yeah. I hate the Wii. The Wii is such a stupid idea. <laughs> In theory, it's a great idea. It, it doesn't work. It's so wonky. No. Especially yeah. for left-handed people. Yes, I, I completely agree. There is discrimination on the Wii for left-handed people, and I will not have it. And as yep. we are both left-handed, we know that pain only so well. I absolutely... I could not agree more. <laughs> yeah, so there will probably be very limited Wii stuff, but yes... GameCube and N64 and SNES especially, whenever I go past a, a game store of any kind, will certainly be having a look in there to see if I can pick up anything of a sensible price. Yeah. There should be there. stuff like that dotted around the place, one would yeah, hope. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, if anyone's got like any games from their childhood that they're like oh play this game this is amazing and you know for a fact that you can get it for not like 50 pounds yes. then <laughs> by all means let us know and we'll try and get hold of them and see what they're like as long as we don't have to go bankrupt in order to buy them equally if anyone's generous enough and want to temporarily or full time you know donate us a game to play on the channel on their behalf I wouldn't yeah. mind doing the odd five, ten minute gameplay video or something that you guys want me to play for you. Nice, yeah. I'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. I know someone said to me before, like, oh, I've played this, you should really try it. it. You know, anyone like that, if you want to donate that to us, send it across. We'll send it back if you want it back. Yeah. We'll have a laugh with Fair it. Fair play. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Well, I know I'd Good be happy idea. to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd never thought of that, but sure. Let us know in the comments if so. Yeah. We'll figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I must say, I'm, I'm, ass I'm assuming by now one of my colleagues, Mr. Bayer, has um, donated at least one game to me, so I I'm, haven't got it yet, but um, I'm speaking in the future now, and you're listening to me, and from the past I say thank you. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that it's was been wonderful. Trip. What? Yeah. <laughs> For two weeks, and... Three days in the future. 17 days, Christ. God. Yeah. You can do in 17 days. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for from yeah, 17 days in the future, person. <laughs> I'm sure I've been playing it endlessly. I've, I've confused myself now. Oh, yeah. Now my head hurts. Oh, I'm just wondering what's going to happen. Because uh, then, what's 17? 17, I'd 14, 30, so in 31 days is going to be the next release of the next podcast we actually record so a lot could happen in 31 days is it let me just open the because this is today is the 7th of july technically yeah so then it'll oh be... yeah and then it'll be the then it'll be the the 21st yeah and we'll actually be able to record that one the week of and a lot will have happened probably yeah <laughs> I, I don't know what's happened but no things. But but either way, thank you for the thank you to our thousand subscribers subscribers each. That was you know, <laughs> we're really grateful to you all. <laughs> yes. Can't believe I, it skyrocketed in the last two weeks. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we can only dream. Indeed, yes, that would be nice. So yeah, yeah that was that was that was my just cheery, back on the nostalgia. Yeah. The SNES is lovely. It's amazing. Oh, also, just as a, a, a side note, you know, yesterday, two weeks ago yesterday, I briefly yeah. mentioned um, the trial for Fallout 76. Oh, yeah. Well, today, as in actually today when we're recording, before I yeah. go on holiday, my wonderful girlfriend saw a copy of it in uh, CEX for £15 and purchased it for me. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Lovely. Which was well, spooky you're... that we were only talking about that <laughs> yesterday, two weeks ago yesterday. Very coincidental. 
Yeah, and she managed to obviously listen to our podcast before it was actually broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> the Illuminati confirmed then. That's... Exactly. So there might be more bits and pieces for that as well in the future. Oh, okay, then perfect. We'll look out for that then. Yeah. Yeah, but, I think uh, I may go on a on a retro game drive myself soon with some N sixty four stuff, nice. possibly a Pokemon Snap type thing, and I also need to do the Elite Four and my Stadium Gym Leader Challenge. I never actually did the Elite Four. Oh blimey! Yeah, that's going back some. Cool. Yeah, that is. I did the Gym Leaders. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the Gym Leader Castle. Yeah, I better go do that eventually. Christ. Mm. <laughs> but well, first, other t- videos. Yeah. By the time this is out, you might have already done it. Yeah, I might have at least recorded it. Hmm. I need to tidy up this room and make it a proper gaming room. Get rid of some of the stuff in here. But yeah. Well, uh, well, enjoy your holiday. Slash, I hope you've enjoyed your holiday. I will slash have enjoy enjoyed my holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Delete you. Delete as applicable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll be weird because while you're going to be sitting back and relaxing, your channel will still be active... So yeah, I'm sure we've all had fun content. watching videos. There's plenty of content that hopefully you will have already seen. Um, by the time this goes live, I'll then pretty much be back and then be recording. So all of that busy Thursday hopefully will have been watched by at least one person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you got stuff scheduled for week commencing 8th of July? Just the odd one or two to... Um, yes, I have a video for the 9th already queued oh, up. It's quite Not a amazing. short, quick little announcement video, but it is it is done. And then I'll be back to recording for the 11th of July when I'm actually back. Perfect. All sorted and all under control. Indeed, yes. All organised. Lovely stuff then. All right, well, I, shall, I think we should call it a day there. What and then a very you can good idea. You can enjoy your holiday and sit back. I will slash have. <laughs> yes. I'm sure it's been great. <laughs> all right, then. All right, well, uh, until about four weeks' time when we record the next one. Yeah, about four yeah. weeks' time to you, about two weeks' time, well, two weeks' time to anyone listening. Exactly. Yeah, well, Toodle enjoy yourself. <laughs> Toodle whip. See you later. Bye bye.